Welcome to the September Jazz with A Sign of the Times. My name is Tyrone Jefferson, and you're going to meet all the cats and the ladies. We're going to start the set, though, with a tune made famous by Art Blakey, the Jazz Messenger, written by Mr. Benny Goldson, a tune entitled Blues March. Thank you. 
Listening at home, please put your hands together for the lovely Miss Tony Tuppen on vocals. Hey, everybody! You asked for us to get back with some straight ahead jazz, so we're back. This next tune we're gonna do is uh, one of my favorites. It's a classic called "Straighten Up and Fly Right." Yeah. A buzzy took a monkey for a ride in that air. The monkey thought that everything was all the same. The buzzer tried to throw the monkey off his back, but the monkey grabbed his neck and said, Now listen, Jack. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay tight. Straighten up and fly right, boys. Keep on popping, don't blow your top. What's the use in jiving? Ain't no use, then you keep on diving. On. Straighten up, cool down and fly right, cool down. Papa, don't you blow your top. The mother told the monkey, you are choking me. Release your hold and then I'll set you free. But the monkey looked at Buzz right and dead in his eye and said, your story's real touching, but it sounds like a lie, baby. Straight up and fly right. Straight up and stay tight. Straight up and fly right, boy. said, cool down, pop, don't blow your time.
time started in 2000. Our first gig though, uh, the contract was for 1999 to do something at my alma mater, North Carolina a and State University. I think that was the big gig we had. Tony wasn't in the band then, but that was our first gig. And that's how we bought some equipment, etc. cetera. Uh, we had a, a big band, you know, all black big band, which was kind of cool. I thought it was the first in Charlotte, but some old timers told me that, that they had an all black big band here in the forties. So it wasn't new stuff. It was, uh, we were just trying to bring yeah, in back rebirth. some stuff. Yeah, rebirth, that's a good word. And uh, we became a nonprofit in 2005. Tony came in the picture in 2000. 2001. 2001, okay. And uh, the rest is her story. Well, I don't know about her story, but yeah, I, uh, I'd done a lot of performing in uh, the Raleigh area and then in Winston-Salem and Greensboro. Then when I moved to, um, moved to Charlotte back in 1998, by then my mother was very ill and I ultimately had to bring her with me. And in taking care of her, um, I had to curtail my performing. Um, and so as I go through this period now, you know, it's, I, I want to lift her spirit because she, she knew that I had given up performing because I was taking care of her and working a full-time job. So one of the last things she said was, I heard about that big band and, and I want you to audition for it. And I wasn't thinking about it at the time, but she said, no, I need you to promise me that you will do that. I get full when I think about it. Um, and so it, it took a lot to, to, for me to get to the point that I would audition. I did not expect to make it because for me, Charlotte was sort of a tough community. But, um, but I had to do it because it was my last promise for her. So that's how I got there. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of folks who have left us too soon. All these guys up here are my brothers, with the exception of one. I ain't your brother. No, in the spiritual sense, but in the biblical sense, no. <laughs> that would be weird and wrong. But anyway, I digress. But on a serious side, a few years ago, we lost what and who I considered my big brother, Mr. L.A. Page Jr. And we never play this song that I don't think of him and his spirit doesn't enter the building. 
This is Stella by Starlight. Thank you. 
in years of endless dreams, the murmur of it and evening time that ripples by a nook where to love. She's everything on earth. You know, we lost a, the world actually lost a giant a day or so ago who was less than five feet tall. We know her affectionately, I think, as the notorious R.B.G. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. While well, we'll dedicate another tune to her later in the show, this one I think she would like. It's called Freedom Jazz Dance by Mr. Eddie Harris. One, two,
guitar, Mr. Jack Gerard Benson. Thank you. 